Hey guys, it's Bub here, and this year we're taking a look at Windows 11 Black Edition, which was recommended by multiple people in the comments of one of my previous videos. I have not done any research on this, I found it on archive.org, I have no idea what version of Windows 11 this is, I know nothing about it, we're going in completely blind, so I'm very eager to see what this is, you know, kind of what it feels like, and how bloated truly is this operating system. The one thing I didn't do this VM, and I guess we're going to find out in a minute, is does this build require TPM? Because I did not put a TPM in this machine. So I'm hoping that they bypassed that kind of annoyance with Windows 11. The first thing we can see is obviously this background is changed to a custom. It looks more purple than black, at least from my perspective. Windows, next, an allocated space, and install. A lot of the unnecessary stuff in between, the EULA was removed, which I'm not sure that's exactly illegal, but hey, we're now installing Windows 11 Black Edition. All right, and we are now booting straight into the desktop, no out-of-box experience like most custom versions. Um, unlike the startup or the boot as CD, we actually didn't have a black Windows 11 background there. First thing that comes up is, of course, the Windows 11 bloat, and here we are in the desktop of Windows 11 Black Edition. The first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is put VMware tools on here just so that we get a little bit of a better viewing experience. And the OS will typically run a little bit more smooth with VMware tools installed due to you know, actually having graphics drivers. All right, and here we are on the desktop of Windows 11 Black Edition. The first thing I'm gonna do is move these out of the way just so that they're in the corner. We'll take a look at these in just a minute. But as you can see, here we are. So the first thing we're going to see is on the desktop by default we have two icons, the recycle bin as well as Firefox. I'm curious to see what version of Firefox this is, assuming it didn't auto update. Because like I said, oh well wait, here. Huh. It looks like that there's already history, like the history from Firefox was not deleted when the ISO was made. So as we can see all the themes that were found by the creator of this and it looks like they're from January so hey that's unique um, looks like this was created right about January in that case this background is a very dark uh, black version of the Windows 11 wallpaper I'm not against it I'm just used to having a bright vibrant desktop and this is just something that's totally new to me here by default as you saw earlier we have these I don't even know what widgets I'm curious to know what version here it is whatever that is Illustro extended uh, widgets uh, that show CPU, system, GPU, usage history. There's also a ping to, I don't even know what it's where it's pinging to. Um, and then the network speed. So it looks like it's actively testing my network, which that is not accurate speeds at all. Um, I am very curious to know what these are connecting to. Like where's the server that's testing upload and download and also where is the server that it's pinging, right? Because I guess ping would kind of be important to know where it's going. Just an observation that I've made here. Opening up the start menu, we can see that this is not the typical Windows 11 start menu, but rather a custom version, probably something from Classic Shell. I actually have no idea um, what this is. I'm sure we're going to find out. Again, by default, we have File Explorer pinned in Firefox. I actually like this start menu. I like the Windows 11 one better, but I do like this one. Um, if this was included in Windows 8, I feel like it would have been much more successful. Uh, by default, File Explorer, Firefox, Firefox, Microsoft Edge doesn't actually exist anymore. Rain Meter, which might be those widgets, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, default Windows apps, but a few of them look to be broken. Um, like if I go back into apps, like those ones just straight straight up don't have an icon and don't open. Um, this is never claimed to be a debloated version. In fact, the ISO I believe is 5.8 gigabytes, so I should get used to seeing all this stuff here. Uh, st Rain meter is in the startup folder. Win arrow tweaker to get some of these tweaks. Accessories, typical stuff, including Windows Media Player Legacy, which I don't actually know if that comes with Windows anymore. System tools, Windows PowerShell, Windows System, and of course Windows Tools. Taking a look here at the task manager, we are currently using, wow, that's a lot of CPU. We're using almost 100%. Now we're, we're still idling in the 90s for CPU, which is really weird. Like, I don't know what's using all of my CPU usage here. 
Um, and then we're idling about 2.52 gigs out of 8. So that's a fourth of our RAM. So this is actually not doing as good as like a regular version of Windows. Like the CPU maxing out is really concerning me. Uh, except it's like Windows. Windows module installer, WS AppX. So of course it's Windows being Windows and not this actual, you know, custom deployment here. Going ahead into start or in the file explorer rather, we can see that there's some customizations that looks different. The cus the new Windows 11 menu bar isn't here. Uh, these appear to be closer together, so it kind of reverted back to the way that Windows 10 was. Um, it just looks very much different, and of course, it's in that dark theme. I am curious to know. Probably control panel is also in dark theme. Yep. I don't even know if Windows 11 has a dark theme for control panel, but hey, I mean, I like it. And like I said, even Firefox, we opened it earlier, it was in dark theme. There's a lot of attention to detail here to make sure everything is in a dark theme. The other thing I should have mentioned is the system tray. This appears to be a custom Windows taskbar. This isn't the regular Windows 11 taskbar because first of all, we have all of these back. But we also have, let's see, the Windows 11 little taskbar menu does not look like this. Volume actually has its own volume rocker. And it is the Windows 10, or no, that's the Windows 11 sound. Uh, network, there, network actually opens this one. And it brings us back to, you know, that. Um, and then Control Center. So network and Control Center open the same thing. The clock opens a regular clock, not like the new ones. This opens notifications. This is Copilot. I didn't even know what that was. That's a custom logo for Copilot. And then show desktop, which brings up a totally custom, like, that looks like the one from Windows 7 with kind of its, like, arrow glossed theme. One last thing, let's take a look at our, oh, wow, we're actually using 14 gigabytes of space. This is one of the largest custom versions of Windows I've taken a look at because typically I look at the smaller versions, so like, tiny 11s, like, 5 gigs or something like that. This is... 14 so that's a lot compared to what I'm used to So that being said, thank you for watching this video if you liked it Make sure to subscribe for new right here as I do all kinds of different technology videos including device restorations This is just a brief overview of this really unique operating system If you have any other recommendations for builds I should take a look at let me know down in the comments below And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one